So it has been a hot minute since you guys have seen me from this angle, man, but welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's your boy, The Real Herp here. I'm out here with Senko today, going to the Reptile Super Show in Anaheim, California. Uh, and if you guys aren't familiar, there are reptile shows where a bunch of vendors come out and they sell animals uh, that are either imported or have been born in captivity, and that could be reptiles, amphibians, uh, anything across that whole board. So snakes, frogs, turtles, uh, newts all different kinds of things and you guys will see in some of the videos some of the cool cool animals that they have here but just uh, rule of thumb uh, it is a two-day event and you guys are gonna see a lot of small enclosures for animals that may uh, be larger and be inside containers that seem smaller uh, but to reduce stress keeping them in those smaller containers is much much better and any animal usually that needs heat uh, is provided that inside of a tank um, let's say for example like a bearded dragon they have like a, the tank set up with like all the different lighting which you guys will see in the videos but also you know as a, a conservationist and someone that wants to really get into wildlife work it's definitely a teeter-totter of whether or not you know being someone that um, is so much into animals how good it is to have these guys in captivity so you know there's great keepers out there people that are super super experienced and you know they do great at keeping animals and there's also people that come to these shows they buy animals do no research and then take them home and keep them in enclosures that you know aren't ample for their survival and ultimately you know some of those animals are hardy enough that they may survive a long time and others they may perish very quickly after they leave the show today uh, so you know anyone that is watching this video if you ever do go to any reptile shows feel free to look into any that may be around your area uh, just be sure to do your research education Reddit threads, TikTok, pretty much everything is, is your resource. Take advantage of all of that, compare notes between people and you know do your research and set up an enclosure before you buy these animals. Um, because they are super important to have in captivity. A lot of these guys can be used as animal ambassadors for different zoos and, and things of that nature. And that provides education to people on that aspect and you know also allows people to see animals that they may never be able to see in the wild so you know i'm going to see some animals today that i've seen in peru costa rica dominican republic and those may be animals that some people may never be able to see so having them in captivity uh you know it provides that ability for people to make that that eye to eye or that hand to hand connection uh and you know just appreciate nature even more so welcome back to the channel like i said man hope you guys enjoy the videos uh let me know what you think down in the comments What's up everybody? Brian here at the Reptile Super Show in Anaheim. It's been incredible so far. We brought about 250 geckos with us. It's been amazing being able to put faces to names of all you guys we meet on social media, letting kids handle the reptiles, teaching them about them, building that respect for the animals at a young age. It's been a beautiful show so far. We've had a great time. Thank you for everybody that came out and joined us. It's been a beautiful day. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, Craig. Nice to meet you. Let's go, man. You're a pineapple. No, what happened? Oh, facts. Definitely need that. But no, what I was about to say was... So guys, whenever I come to these reptile shows, they always have these magical little hooks. And you guys know that I like to go out and play in the jungle. So I had to get myself a little telescoping hook to help me catch Bushmasters out in the jungle, man. So shout out to Craig from Millipedes and More for this long telescoping hook system. Hook system. All right, let's go. So guys, as you know, I'm out here at the reptile show and one of the big things that I wanted to stress a lot for you guys that are buying new reptiles is to try and look for animals that are captive bred. Uh, no harm or shame on anyone, but the organization that you guys see behind me, Triple L Reptile, is very, very known for importing animals and then immediately selling them after. Uh, so that means that they're buying animals directly from the countries that they may be from. 
and then giving them to people right after. And sometimes those animals may have ailments that, you know, a new reptile keeper may not be able to, to keep up with. So if you guys have the ability to, and you come to any reptile shows like these, try and go with organizations that have captive bred animals, uh, where you guys can get animals that have been in captivity for a long time and they're not coming directly from the wild like uh, this organization. Let's get it. Okay, we're at the Galapagos Tortoise Alliance and our goal is to take a collection of Galapagos tortoises and create captive bred uh, groups of them that are sustainable enough to breed successfully. Galapagos tortoises need actually a lot of room and they do better in larger groups. And in that type of an environment, given the right conditions, they will breed successfully. We're taking all the ones that we're producing currently, putting them into assurance colonies. We don't sell any of the tortoises we produce. All of them are for future generations to create these colonies. We have nine locations currently in three different states. We don't want all of our tortoises in one location because we don't want one natural disaster to wipe out a species. So we spread out the colonies and the idea is to have a successful group of breeding There's adults of in several locations throughout the United States to ensure this tortoise survives. Oh man, just wrapping up another day out here in beautiful sunny California. Uh, and as you guys saw, the Reptile Super Show is an amazing place to come out and see a plethora of animals. Uh, like I said previously, reptiles, amphibians, some birds, uh, we saw all different kinds of dogs as well, a lot of Malinois. Uh, but it's, it's just an amazing place to come out and meet like-minded people, which is something that, you know, I don't come across too often, unfortunately, unless I'm actually doing something in my line of work. Uh, there is a lot, of, a lot of ignorance that goes on in the world in regards to, you know, conservation and climate change and things of that nature. So I try and educate people as much as I can. And, you know, this weekend, it, it felt like a great, a great deed to come out and, you know, tell people how much I love you know wildlife photography and seeing these animals in the wild but as well uh, how important it is to conserve those species and um, you know a lot of this this captivity and the breeding that goes on within these organizations and, and some of these facilities is very very important uh, to making sure that a lot of those things are stay present they provide funds for different organizations and things of that nature so there's just a lot of things things that go hand in hand with a lot of a lot of all the stuff that goes on in the reptile uh, community. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. As always, please be sure to uh, drop a like and leave a comment if you guys have any questions. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, man. Kurt Piro, signing out. Easy, your boys, huh? All right, let's slide, kid.